my fellow Americans, good evening. I'm in a dilemma. You see, earlier today I was making good on my New Year's resolutions out on a run, a jog, all right, a peruse through the park, and it's a beautiful day, the sun's shining, kids are having fun, I'm having a great time, and in the distance I see a, a gentleman, later middle-aged, who has the most magnificent dog I have ever seen. And I, you know, I'm feeling friendly and outgoing, which would prove to be my first mistake. And I go over, I introduce myself, and I start petting the dog. And I say to him, sir, you have a great dog. What is his name? I knew as soon as I said it what I had done wrong. The clouds came in and covered out the sun. A kid began crying in the distance, and I swear to you, even the dog cried as he looked me and said, her name is Deborah. Now I've called a woman who was not pregnant pregnant before, and I'm not saying that went well, but it went better than this did. Because he took both his hands, firmly pushed them on my chest while the dog had snuck behind me, tabletopping me, so I'm flat on my back looking at the sky. Swifter than lightning, the man grabs both my pants legs, lifts me up on an angle, and even though I'm wearing a belt, well-fitted pants and shoes, he whips those suckers off and takes them from me. And I looked him dead in the eyes, and I know some fights are won by strength, some fights are won by skill, but this fight would not be won by either of those. So I hightailed it out of there. Now I'm safe at home, and this becomes my dilemma, you see. When he had me by both my pants legs, he had me on a slight angle. And I keep my wallet in my front pocket and it must have just had enough to fall out. And I'm just asking that if you're in Valley Forge Park in Pennsylvania and you stumble upon my wallet, if you could just look inside, pull out my license, get my address and send me my license back. You can keep my wallet and everything in there and I'll even pay you back for the postage for, the, for the sending me my license. I just can't go back to the DMV after I fell asleep there and started sleepwalking. But it wasn't my fault. I mean, there's the glass and the sunlight comes in and it's warm and you're just waiting so dang long. Who can stand it? My apologies to George there. If you could be of any assistance, I would greatly appreciate it. Have a good night and God bless. And if you see my pants, could you get those sent back too? I'll pay you for them, I promise.